One of those living systems is the rainforest, home to the most amazing concentration of life on our planet. These dense and beautiful forests cover only a tiny portion of the Earth's surface, but they contain more than half of its plant and animal species. Rainforests are also extremely rich in productive living systems, providing us with oxygen, food, medicine, and other elements essential to our lives. Yeah, my backyard, damn it. In the desert, nature has created a very different, no less beautiful living system. And while this arid landscape may seem lifeless, it is very much alive. The plants and animals that have learned to survive in these harsh conditions make use of what little water they can find and avoid the scorching rays of the relentless sun.
Department of Agriculture are exploring innovative ways to produce bountiful harvests now and into the future. The tropics are home to the greatest diversity of plants on the planet. Many of these, like papaya, bananas, cacao, coffee and rice, are well known around the world. Others, like the jackfruit, fluted pumpkins, and dragon fruit growing here, represent the vast number of lesser known tropical plants. As we learn more about these crops, we discover that many are rich in vitamins and minerals, while others are well adapted to growing in less than ideal conditions. For instance, the fluted pumpkin thrives in the poorest soil conditions of Africa. With its edible seeds and leaves, the pumpkin could become an important staple for areas where other crops don't grow easily. The unique looking dragon fruit is actually a member of the cactus family. The fruits are high in vitamin C, rich in antioxidants, so and have a light, sweet taste. The fruit originated in Mexico or Central America, but is already becoming popular in Asia. It could become a source of important nutrients for people living in many areas of the world. These and many other lesser known crops may one day be as popular as the bananas growing on both sides of the globe. More than 28 million tons of bananas are eaten annually, making it the most popular fruit in the world.
thousand heads of lettuce oh, a year in this one small area. Goes in there, yeah. mm -hmm. Food. Mm. I love that. That's what they're picking over there in uh, Plant City when I drove through there. Here's something you don't see every day. Mm -hmm. Tomatoes growing on trees. These plants were originally developed by Chinese scientists. Tomato trees live longer and produce many more tomatoes. One of ours lived 16 months and produced over 32,000 fruits. Much of the produce you see growing in our greenhouses is served in the restaurants here at the land. Strawberries are the best. Leave them. agriculture includes some high-flying ideas like the ones you see here. The aquaponics system on your left integrates hydroponics with aquaculture. The fish provide a source of natural fertilizer for the plants, and the plants help keep the water clean for the fish. It's another great way to produce more while using less resources. In our lab, Epcot scientists are working with the U.S. Department of Agriculture on a number of innovative projects. The goal of these efforts is to produce higher yielding and better quality plants. Oh, that stuff is good too. Israel. It's kind of like great. Greenhouse store. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Sign up. Super chill. These greenhouses represent just a tiny fraction of the work being done worldwide to produce powerful harvests for our growing population. Around the globe, scientists, farmers, and even backyard gardeners are doing their part to improve... Sorry, viewers, you can't really see. It's dark. The cameras will pick it up good. By working together, we can continue to find innovative ways to... Doing the best I can. ...and protect our precious natural environment. Only then will we truly be living the land. Thank you for watching. Central Florida. That's it. Bye, guys.